Hey everyone, this is Kai. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start using Lambda functions and connect them with the particle APIs, and we'll start running some commands in our microcontrollers. So, uh, Lambda is a service offered by AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. So, if you don't have an account, go to AWS. Well, just Google AWS. Go to there and start creating an account. It's pretty awesome stuff. So. This is serverless code, serverless coding, which means that we can just upload our code, and it's going to provision a bunch of the infrastructure, and we don't have to worry about, you know, creating servers, installing um, programming languages and dependencies, and making sure they're patched and secure, and blah 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 blah. Anyways, so um, we're in AWS, and we'll go into Lambda to start creating our first Lambda function. And I guess I should say before we move any further that I'm going to assume you've already gone through some of my other tutorials or you know how to expose a function to the cloud. So this is a simple function um, which you can view in my other videos that exposes a, um, a flash. It's kind of like a flashlight so you can turn it on or off and it's going to turn that LED that's built into the particle photon either on or off depending on the command sent to it. So um, we'll go back to AWS and we're in Lambda. Let's get started now by creating our first Lambda function. We'll, we'll choose Node 6.10 as our programming language and we'll select Hello World as the template. And we'll call this particle Lambda and we'll actually code natively. However, we'll copy this code for now. And then we need to give this resource a role so we can give it some um, certain security permissions within the AWS console. So we'll create a new role based on templates and we'll call it a Lambda Microservice Role. And from the policy templates, we'll select the microservice. So this, um, what we're doing is we're really creating a distributed application architecture, which means we're breaking our application up into a bunch of microservices to make it more modular. Um, we can easily uh, modify our programs and we can break it up and uh, divide it among other team members and it's just a preferred way to develop. So this Lambda function will have 128 megabits or megabytes of RAM allocated to it and it will have a timeout of three meaning that it's going to try to run this function for three seconds and if it's not able to um, successfully get a code, a status code after three seconds it's going to uh, cease, cease to run this lambda function so we'll create the function and bear with me the internet up here is pretty slow so sorry about that and congratulations our lambda function has been created now let's start creating some code natively so I'll go into our terminal navigate to the desktop and I will make a directory called particle lambda so let's navigate into that directory and let me go ahead and create a file called index.js and before we move any further let's go to the particle reference documents over here so simply docs.particle.io whatever you copy that URL or just google particle reference and you'll get this page and I scroll down to the particle API right here for JavaScript since node is JavaScript just in the terminal. It says that we need to do some things. It says, well, you need to first make sure you have Node.js installed. Okay, I'm going to assume everyone here does. Sorry if I didn't make sure that you did have that installed. And then with npm, which is the package manager, you're going to need to install this particle library in order to use it in the node code node code so back in the terminal in that directory where our um, particle lambda function is I will first run npm init to create a npm program whatever something that we can start writing some dependencies to and then I'll paste whatever I copied there so npm install particle API and while it does that let me go ahead and copy this code again and 
once it's done installing everything. Sorry if I'm jumping everywhere, guys. Oh man, I know I'm gonna get some heat for this. Okay, particle lambda. Let me open this program in Sublime. So open with. Cool, it's done installing. Now in that file, I'll paste that code that I saw in the skeleton hello world. Lambda function, then we'll go to the particle reference page and it says now once you do all that and you've installed it, you need to include this little snippet of code into the function up here. Look Mao, I'm on TV. And then go down and then um, we're gonna look for the call function here and copy this snippet of code and we'll tailor it to our needs so indent it to make it look nice and we'll take out these console logs and we'll substitute it for callbacks instead and callbacks take into inputs and these inputs are going to be either data or an error so right here we're assuming that the function was successfully called so we're gonna not return an error and instead we'll just return the data and over here we're gonna assume that there was an error and we're gonna return the error and instead return null the data field and we'll substitute all of these um, strings for we'll use this event parameter right here and that's gonna allow us to later um, pass some parameters in our rest commands so uh, we will define these later, but for now, I just know that I'm going to want to call this device ID, that parameter name. Name, I'll just leave it as whatever function was here. So flashlight copy. And then I'll just paste that there. Later, we'll change that to make that a little bit more modular. And same here, we'll just create event. And then I know I'm going to call it an argument. And then the auth event dot auth. So we'll save this file, and believe it or not, this is all you need to do to create that lambda function. Um, so we'll save it, and then we'll go to the directory, and we'll highlight both the node modules directory and the index that we just index file that we were editing, and we'll compress it into a zip file, and we'll rename it to index.zip. We'll upload that sucker to Lambda. Any second. My internet's really slow. So we'll select that zip file. We'll save it. And what do you know? I gotta log in real quick. Sorry about that, guys. What a boner killer. Okay, so back in Lambda. Let's make sure that we upload that zip file. Save it. And now, guys, where we were using these event.deviceIDs, we'll start to define it here. And configure our test event. So I've already gone ahead and done everything and inserted all the fields, but if you take a look here, the code, it matches all of device ID, there's device ID, um, you can see event.argument, there's the argument, and then event.authorization, there's the authorization, and now I've copied all this information from the particle console, so your device will have a specific ID, likewise your account will have a specific access token that you'll need to use in order to authenticate. So back in the console over here, make sure that we save and now let's test everything. And if you take a look right there, it says that this was actually successful. So my particle has a light turned on right now. And just to double check and make sure that everything's running correctly, I'm gonna change that test event and I'll change the argument to off save and test and while it's running it's 
doing its little thing you'll see that when you run off it's going to turn the light off on the microcontroller itself error message that it timed out after three seconds and that's because my internet up here sucks and my particles like on the fritz and isn't connected so let's wait till we get that blue smooth okay and now let's run the command again test and if I look at the particle, then the light has been turned off and everything's successful. So in the next tutorial, we'll actually expose this to an API and we'll start making some REST um, calls. And we'll pass in parameters in order to do some cool stuff. Alright guys, thank you.